What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Naturally Tosh, and I'm back with another edition of Coloring My Homies. I'm going to be doing a deep conditioning color on my girl, Sharita, taking her bleach blonded hair up to a magenta and a truly red mix. She wants kind of a reddish pinkish color, so I decided to go with these two colors and mixing them. First, I applied some of the truly red into the plastic bowl, and then right on top of that, I'm going to apply some of the magenta right onto the truly red. Next, I'm going to apply some of the conditioner, and I'm going to mix it until it almost looks like a yogurt using a plastic spoon. Make sure to mix it until it looks truly, truly mixed, as you will see here. And I think that's the good right there. Meet my girl, Sharita. Hey, Sharita. Her hair is naturally dark brown, and she got her ends bleached a little while ago. This procedure I use, deep conditioning color, will work great on bleached hair as well. I'm going to take the hair in sections and apply the mixture only to the bleached ends. As you can see, because her hair is bleached, the color takes almost right away. Right after I apply it, you already see that it has turned a reddish color. I'm just going to keep applying it from the bleached ends down, making sure to rub in really, really well. Her hair is really long, so I had to mix at least three to four bowls of this mixture to do her complete head. I am going a little bit over the bleached area in her hair, just so that it will blend well. Take it now. This color will not make her dark brown hair this reddish pinkish color because it is too dark. But I am taking it up just to make sure it blends. Here I am continuing to put the mixture in, making sure to rub it in really, really well from where I start to the ends. Now I have it completely in, and I'm going from the top of her hair to the bottom. Even though the color will not dye her hair at the top, because it is mixed with conditioner, I've decided to do an all-over conditioning. But I'm making sure to really, really have the mixture on her bleached ends, because they will be the ones to color. Here I am after having it all in there, and now I'm going to apply a plastic cap. Actually, I'm going to apply a few because her hair is long, and just to ensure that none of it will get onto her neck. This will sit in her hair a total of two hours. She can speed up the process under a heated dryer hood, but if she was to just sit out, two hours is great. This is the after, and you see it's very bright and vibrant. Here is her hair after some rod curls, and you can really see the red at the end. It's really, really bright and popping. Here's a before just to show you. This was her hair before, here is after. You can see even the condition of her hair looks better after the long deep conditioning. So deep conditioning color not only colors your hair, but it helps with your texture and condition as well. Here is the before and after. Happy color.